Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain order of the system. Here, I will cover basics of order of the system and I will solve three interesting examples based on identification of order of the system. So, let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of order of the system. See, order of the system is based on transfer function of the system. So, if you have transfer function of the system, then you can easily identify order of the system. For example, if you have one control system where input is R of S and output is C of S, then transfer function is a ratio of output to input, means it is C of S divided by R of S. Sometimes we may represent transfer function in form of polynomial like here we have numerator polynomial and here we have denominator polynomial roots of numerator polynomial n of s that gives you idea about zeros of the system and roots of denominator polynomial that gives idea about poles of the system and one should know total number of poles that gives you idea about order of the system, right? So here, see numerator polynomial n of s that gives details of zeros and denominator polynomial d of s that gives details of poles. Here, total number of poles that is order of the system or one can say power of denominator that is order of the system. Here one essential concept that you need to note down. See, there is a difference in between type of the system and order of the system. Type of the system is based on poles at origin. For example, if you have one pole at origin, then you can say it is type 1 system. If you have zero number of poles at origin, then that is type 0 system. I have seen students are having confusion in terms of order of the system and types of the system. See, order is based on total number of poles and type is based on pole at origin, right? So, if you have total number of poles, then you can identify order of the system and if you have number of poles at origin, then you can identify type of the system. Now, I will solve three interesting questions based on identification of order of the system and types of the system. In question 1, we have been given with transfer function of the system. See, transfer function is a divided by s square plus s. Based on this transfer function, we need to determine order and type of the system. So, you need to understand this transfer function first. See, transfer function is a divided by s square plus s means it is s into s plus 1. What it means? It means here we have two poles. See roots of denominator explains poles. So one pole that is there at s is equals to 0 and second pole that is there at s is equals to minus 1. So here we have two poles, right? What it means? It means order of the system is and here if you observe we have one pole at origin means this system belongs to type 1 system. So based on location of poles and total number of poles we can identify order and type of the system. Now I will solve second question. See in second question we have been given with transfer function and we need to identify order and type of the system. I have seen students are saying directly here we are having second order system as per power of denominator. But if you carefully observe here numerator that is having 1 0 which is there at s is equals to minus 2. And in denominator if you identify the roots then s plus 2 that is getting cancelled. Like you can observe here in numerator, we have k into s plus 2 
and in denominator if you identify the roots then we have s plus 2 and s plus 1 so here this s plus 2 that is getting cancelled and overall transfer function is k divided by s plus 1 what it means it means here we have only one pole that is there at minus 1 right it means we have order of the system that is equals to 1 and here at origin we don't have any pole means type is 0 so based on location of poles and total number of poles we can identify order and type of the system right let us solve one more problem see in question 3 we have transfer function and if you carefully observe here in numerator we have two zeros and in denominator we have s cube plus 4s square plus 3s so we need to simplify this transfer function first see in numerator it is quite simple k into s plus 1 and s plus 6 but in denominator if you observe you can take one as common so here we will be having s square plus 4s plus 3 now if you further simplify this then here one can say numerator is k into s plus 1 into s plus 6 and in denominator s into here we have s square plus 4s plus 3 so that is s plus 3 s plus 1 so if you observe this s plus 1 that is getting cancelled right so we have transfer function that is k into s plus 6 divided by s s plus 3 so what it means it means here we have 1 0 let us say that is z1 that is located at s is equals to minus 6 here we have one pole that is there at origin and second pole that is there at minus 3. So here in total two poles are there means order of the system that is 2 and here one pole is located at origin. What it means? Type of the system that is 1. So based on location and total number of poles we can identify order and type of the system. So be careful when you have question based on order and type. You need to simplify transfer function. In hurry, you may do mistake. I have seen this type of questions in university as well as in competitive examinations. At that time, usually students are giving direct answer. Like there is third order system. They are saying like that. But if you simplify this, then one root that is getting cancelled because of which order is 2 right so you should be careful when you solve problems i hope now you are having fair enough idea about how to identify order and type of the system thank you so much for watching this video